Hi, my name is Eric Jenks. I'm a photographer based out of upstate New York. If you caught my last video, I just want to take a moment and say thank you for all of the wonderful support. It was uh, a great thing to see for my first time being in front of the camera and talking about one of the things that I have a, a passion for, which is photography. I am planning on continuing to do more photographic reviews of camera gear, of you know my process that I personally have used as a professional for over a decade. Uh, you know, if you're interested in learning more about Lightroom, if you're interested in more about how to take an analog photog um, analog photography gear and use it in the digital realm and make money with it, I'm happy to explore those avenues. But today I wanted to talk about a personal project that I have coming up, and that's all thanks to the fact that I just got a grant. So, really exciting. This is the first photography grant that I've received and I'm really looking forward to the project. It's called The Farms of Washington County, A Changing Landscape. And before I go too much further, I'm just going to look up the um, things that I have to do for the grant, which is acknowledge where they come from. So just bear with me for half a second. And uh, the grant is funded by the New York State Council on the Arts, which is a state agency decentralization program the support of Governor Andrew Cuomo and the New York State Legislature. It's administered by the Lower Adirondack Regional Arts Council, which in our area is known as LARAC. Um, these grants are available throughout New York. Um, <clears throat> mine is for $2,500 to go out, complete the project, and put on a gallery exhibit. So I'm really excited about it. The exhibit is going to be taking place in the town where I live at a community center there. It's one of those things where it's been interesting given COVID is going on and um, not knowing what I can do or can't do when it comes to photography and having a place to show it. So I will also be hosting it on my website. I'll probably be doing some more YouTube videos about it as time goes on. And I will be looking into having it in posts on Instagram and Facebook as well. I'll make sure to leave links in the description about where you can find me on those platforms. So a little bit about the grant. Um, about my project, at least for the grant. I'm going to be interviewing and documenting three to five farms and agribusinesses in Washington County, which is in upstate New York. Uh, it's right on the Vermont border. It's a, it's a beautiful area. And if you're not familiar with agriculture, you know, there's been a lot of changes in the past few decades. When you look at Washington County from a historical perspective, there were a lot of dairies here, and the dairy industry has had its ups and a lot of downs in the past decade. And there's been a lot of farms that have exited. Uh, the other problem that you see with ag is that there are a lot of aging farmers where, you know, if you look at the median age, it's not, not down there. It's usually up close to retirement age. And so, you have farms that are starting to pass to the next generation. You have increased challenges in cost of equipment, and you have a very fluctuating market when it comes to products. And that's all led to a lot of uncertainty in how people can continue to be in agriculture. There has been some really interesting things that have gone on. You know, you see a lot of younger farmers that are getting into doing veggies. You see agritourism, where farms have taken what they're doing and love what they do, and they have made it so that they're a destination for people to visit. And I'm kind of looking to get a slice of what all of that looks like. You know, interview uh, a long-standing dairy, interview uh, a farm where it's starting to kind of change to the next generation, get a smaller, you know, greens, vegetable product farm, and get a agritourism slice of life as well. So I've got some great farms that I'm looking to work with. 
and we're gonna see how it goes. So I'm really excited to begin the project. I'm very thankful to Larac and to New York State for the opportunity to explore something that's been on my mind for years. It's, it's uh, an idea that I came up with several years ago and um, it's wonderful to finally have the funding to pursue it. So I hope you stick around for that. I hope uh, you guys want to see what I do. If you want me to bring the camera along and shoot some video, I might do that. It wasn't originally a part of what my project was going to entail. But I think, um, especially in the past few years, video has become a, another necessary item for storytelling and for photography. So I will do my best to include that as well. I, I don't make any bare, you know, bones about it. I'm not a professional videographer, but I'm learning. Uh, I have had some opportunities in the past to work with video and uh, do documentary style video, so hopefully that can come back to me. It's been about a decade. Um, looking at what the channel is going to have in the future, you know, I am totally open to feedback on what you all want to learn about. If you want to hear more about film cameras, if you want to hear more about digital, if you want to hear more about workflow of how to edit in Lightroom and Photoshop and things like that, uh, if you have questions about what client expectations are when you're working as a professional, uh, you know, these are all kind of topics that I can touch on and I'd love to get some feedback. You can leave them in the comments section of what you'd like to see. I think my next video, just to give a little bit spoiler, uh, is going to be one of three things. The first is going to be unboxing a camera that's about 52 years old. And while it has been out of that box before, uh, there's a lot of the original um, items that would have come with it. And the camera's in really great shape, so I kind of think you get a bit of that feel for what it would be like opening it brand new. I'm not going to spoil what the camera is yet. So if that sounds fun, let me know. I can do that one potentially next. The other, <clears throat> I've heard from a couple of people who would like to learn more about my Leica R8. Uh, that was my first video. Um, I heard that they wanted to learn more about the lenses that I have. And I was thinking that might even be a fun project where I can go out with one roll of film, one lens, and um, come back and see some of the results from that and how that lens captures and works. I could do that for all of my lenses. Or I could kind of split the roll 50-50, you know, shoot two lenses for it or, you know, kind of continue on that route. The other option I have is I got this Leica M2 um, in the middle of last year and I can talk about what it takes to get a Leica for under a thousand dollars and get it in working order because <laughs> those two things don't necessarily go together if, uh, if you want to find a bargain M series camera. So those are kind of my next ideas for what I'm going to be doing with the channel. I'm definitely going to be keeping people updated on how the grant goes. I have at least three or four of the five potential farms on board already. And so I'm really looking forward to diving into that. Um, it's, it's exciting. Uh, you know, this is an area where I live. I, I grew up not too far from here. I have, you know, ties to agriculture that go back generations in my own family. And so it's going to be a lot of fun to explore how agriculture has transformed with the times to meet the needs of both the producers and the consumers that, you know, live throughout the area. If you like what you see, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I'm always open to learning how to do this a bit better, so feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. I do want to thank everyone again for being so nice. Uh, that was a really awesome experience to have for the last video, and I'm glad that it was so well received. I'm excited to keep doing them. So, until next time. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. I hope that you uh, can get out, get shooting, and uh, explore something that, you know, brings your passion for photography to light. Have a good one.